Welcome to Only411 Destinations, the world's premier online portal for explorers and travelers that want the most out of life. What good is living a life you've been given if all you do is stand in one place? Get out and explore. Only411 is here to help. Better get to living and explore the world both near and afar. Only41 provides you with the information to make your next trip a memorable adventure. Stay informed with Only411. Click to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video with others that need the 411. Let's get started with the best places to visit in Indiana. Number 11. First Christian Church Starting with the 11th position, the First Christian Church in Columbus, designed by Elisle Saranan and finalized in 1942. It has a non-traditional look, rectangular tower, which stands 160 feet high. It is famous for being one of the first churches in the United States built in such fashionable style. The materials, exterior, and interior are mostly buff bricks and limestone. The sanctuary can seat about 900 people, and this religious establishment provides numerous ways to connect with the surrounding community. Number 10. The RV Motorhome Hall of Fame Museum If you are interested in RVs, this place should be on your must-see list. The RV Motorhome Hall of Fame in Elkhart displays all kinds of recreational vehicles in all shapes and sizes from various times. It's a must-see for people interested in RVs or anyone who wants to see the classic cars that Americans have been driving along the road and vacationing in for the past 90 years. The museum displays trailers, motorhomes, photos, and memorabilia dating back to the 1920s, all within a vast showroom. Displays include May West's 1931 Chevrolet house car, a road back in time walking tour, and a Tennessee Traveler motorhome. Visitors can also see the interiors and appliances of recreational vehicles have changed over the years. Number 9. Lanier Mansion State Historic Site, Madison Ranking on to 9th position, we have the Lanier Mansion built for James Franklin Dowdy Lanier, a prominent businessman in Indiana around the mid-1800s. The Greek Revival-style house was finalized in 1844 and is one of the finest buildings in Madison's National Historic Landmark District. The home was designed by architect Francis Costigan. Inside are some of the original furnishings and impressive three-story spiral stairway. On the grounds are formal gardens showcasing plants and landscape styles of the late 19th century. Visitors can tour the historic mansion during Tuesday to Sunday daily working hours. Guided tours begin at the top of every hour. The historic mansion is also home to several events and programs throughout the year, including holiday candlelight tours, early childhood programs, and adults-only 1940s dance hall celebrations. Number 8. Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore Porter Next on our list is visiting and admiring the shores of Lake Michigan, located near the Illinois border. Indiana Dunes present an entire landscape found no other place in the state. The lapping beaches and lakeside landscape allow a variety of outdoor activities. The adjacent state park of the same name is one of the most popular spots for biking, hiking, and beachgoing. Fishing and boating are also offered at the lakeshore. If you want to camp, you can camp at the seasonal Dunewood Campground, which is a great way to make a multi-day trip. While in the winters, there are activities like cross-country skiing and snowshoeing that tend to reign supreme. Sunsets at Lake Michigan are a recommended experience for any visit, which often resonate with brightly changing colors and tones. Number 7. Wonder Lab Museum of Science, Bloomington If you are visiting with family and children, you should see Wonder Lab. It's a children's fun center located in Bloomington with a focus on science, technology, and health. It offers hands-on and immersive learning experiences alongside popular permanent exhibits. A few of the favorite include a bubblegum atrium, the Fitzgerald Hall of Natural Science, and an outdoor wonder garden which connects to the nearby pedestrian corridor, the Beeline Train. The museum also runs an active events calendar targeted at adults and children, including science talks, STEM Sundays, and a Wonder Lab After Dark series. Other areas of interest at the museum include a coral reef aquarium, a children's discovery garden, and facilities for birthday parties or events. Number 6. 
Prophetstown State Park, West Lafayette. Steeped in natural and cultural history, Prophetstown is a new addition in the Indiana State Park system and features many ways to interact with the environment. The 125-acre farm at Prophetstown embodies a 1920s motif within the state park, including hands-on experiences with homesteading, gardening, and livestock feeding. The state park is at the confluence of the Wabash and Tippecanoe Rivers and features a variety of hiking trails that cater to all abilities of hikers. An extensive aquatic center at the park also draws warm weather attention with a zero-depth entry pool, lazy river, and 30-foot water slide. Nearby, interested visitors can learn more about the area at the Tippecanoe Battlefield Park. Number 5. Campus of Indiana University, Bloomington Home to the Hoosiers and nearly 200 years of education history, Bloomington hosts the flagship campus of Indiana University. An era of academia defines the historic lecture halls and pedestrian pathways found on campus, including the iconic sample gates, which lead to the other campus attractions like the Kirkwood Observatory. Hoosier sports are intertwined with the identity of the entire state, and both football at Memorial Stadium and basketball at Simon Scott Assembly Hall provide proper community gathering spots and reasons to cheer. Cultural institutions like the Escanancy Museum of Art and the IU Arboretum are famous for students and community members alike and help define the community. The neighboring Kirkwood Avenue is a popular spot for afternoon storefront pursuing and evening dining and local shops near the university. If you made it this far, make sure you stick around to the end of this video and hit that like button. Let's get started to our next destination. Number 4. Snipe Museum of Art, Notre Dame The Snipe Museum of Art offers free admission and a dense collection of the 19th and 20th century artworks on the University of Notre Dame campus. The collection spans different cultures and significant periods of world art history. It includes European painting and sculpture, Mesoamerican effigies, Native American ceramics, and contemporary works. The museum also hosts a constantly rotating selection of new exhibits, including thesis projects by current MFA students at the university. The museum is open to the public Tuesdays through Saturdays with more limited hours. And operated by the museum a couple blocks away, the newly instated Charles B. Hayes Sculpture Garden allows visitors to enjoy aesthetic art and nature throughout the year. The University of Notre Dame offers plenty more to explore for students and community members alike. It's not hard to find inspiration when stepping foot into the Basilica of the Sacred Heart on campus as well as the adjacent Grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes Spiritual Shrine. The nearby Compton Family Ice Arena is great for catching a hockey game or getting on the ice yourself. For many, attending Fighting Irish football games at Notre Dame Stadium is a way of life and much anticipated activity every season. Number 3. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway and Museum The Indianapolis Motor Speedway and Museum, or the Indy Racing Museum, is located within the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, also known as the Brickyard. This world-renowned raceway is home to the Indianapolis 500 mile every May and this year-round museum commemorates the fastest day in motorsports with a premier collection of automobiles and artifacts. The museum is open every day except for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Its collection includes over 55,000 artifacts, including over 300 cars. And at last, 25 past winners of the Indianapolis 500 are on permanent display. Other artifacts include racing memorabilia, photography, and archive video. Several guided tours are also available through the museum. The two-hour golf cart tour is a popular outing, including an in-depth trip around the track. However, the most recommended tour is the Kiss the Bricks tour, which features a narrated bus ride and an opportunity to get personal with the famous racetrack. Number 2. Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, Fort Wayne Celebrating over 50 years as one of the top attractions of Fort Wayne, the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo encourages tourists and residents to experience award-winning animal exhibits. Spread throughout distinct ecosystems spanning the African Serengeti to an Indonesian rainforest, a few of the hundreds of animals at the zoo include Amur leopards, 
Tasmanian devils, red pandas, and kimono dragons. Other attractions at the Children's Zoo include family-friendly rides like the Endangered Species Carousel. The zoo also facilitates animal experiences that allow visitors to interact with giraffes, goats, and ponies. Recent large-scale renovations to the Children's Zoo have been trendy and have given it the national recognition it receives today. Number 1. Edel Jorg Museum of American Indian and Western Art, Indianapolis The Edel Jorg Museum of American and Indian and Western Art is situated at downtown Indiana's White River State Park entrance. It holds the remarkable collection assembled by the Indianapolis businessman Harris Edel Jorg. On display are paintings and sculptures of the West from the early 19th century onwards. A few art pieces on display include works by the landscapist Albert Bierstadt and Georgia O'Keeffe, and pictures and sculptures by the leading Western artist Frederick S. Remington and Charles M. Russell. The museum's most recent installation, Attitudes, The West in American Art, features a diverse collection of artists and cultures of the American West. Indiana State Museum and the White River State Park. The encompassing White River State Park contains many other gems of the city. Adjacent to the Edel Jorg Museum, the Indiana State Museum features three floors relating stories of Indiana art, science, and culture through interactive exhibits. Another excellent add-on experience to the Edel Jorg within White River State Park is the Indiana Zoo across the banks of the White River. Resident animals include sea lions, cheetahs, and brown bears. White River State Park also features NCAA Hall of Champions and Victory Field, home to the Indiana Indians minor league baseball team. Are you going to visit any of these places or have you already made them a destination? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you liked our list of top 11 destinations, then don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to Only411 Destinations and ring the bell icon so you can get notified next time. Bye!